Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so this video is going to be pen cases galore because I, for some reason right now, I have a pen case craze and I just can't get enough of getting my hands on them. So when I can get them, I have them. Um, I guess I'll start off. I have the complete collection for the Red Collections pen cases. I have all four of them. Um, a couple match uh, some of their, uh, you know, planner totes and everything, and then some don't. Uh, I will show you the ones that don't match first. Um, the first one has a llama on it, and it says, Make It Happen, and everything, and it's really cool. It's a three-zipper uh, case, and they come with a free set of gel pens, and um, I know they're 30 bucks, but they do. They come with a free set of gel pens. I haven't tried them out yet. Each uh, inside of the case here is a different color for each one. Um, the rest are blank, so you can fill up with whatever pens you would like to use. Um, I tend to think they're a good quality pen case. They're, they look to be well made. Um, and, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, printing happens like this is gold on the front here. And on the back, it's in black. Um, but, you know... Uh, this was happened to be the only one left, at, uh, the one Michaels I have. I have actually three Michaels that I know of around me, so that uh, usually if one store doesn't have it, I go to the other. The uh, second one I have of the same pen case for recollections is the C'est La Vie, and it's the Paris one, and this is actually matches one of their planner totes. Uh, the inside of the case, this one's more like a, I'm going to go with a peach color, as this one was kind of pink inside. So this one I think is more of a peach color on the inside. Again, free set of gel pens. Um, always, now these are $30 and everything, I do believe. If I remember correctly, these are like $30. But if you go in with a coupon, you won't pay that much. I'm The most I've paid for these guys um, is anywhere from 12 to 14 bucks with a coupon. So uh, that's kind of why I went crazy and got all of them. Then the next one, which matches my planner toe as you've seen before is enjoy the ride and as I oh I forget to mention it it says some one side will have uh, the gold print and the other will be just black so that seems to be the case with all of them the inside of this one is a light pink again I think so that they might sometimes repeat the inside colors um the uh and then of course on the back side I didn't show it but they will have like these little uh, stripes on the back, so this one's like green and white, this one's uh, black and white, and then on the backs of here, of course, pink and white. And then the last pen case by Red Collections that I have is Busy Girl, and this one does not have anything on the back, you know, the stripes on the back, it's all words. Um, and then on the inside color, it is, this is almost... Uh, I guess you can go with hot pink if you want to. It is a different shade. For some reason, on the my camera here, it's kind of showing that they're all kind of the same color. They're really not. Um, but anyway, they will hold up to 60 pens, I believe, it, if I'm correct and stuff. Um, but you know, the, the some people may want to try to put big pens in here. Um, I mean, you could try it, but... Um, you know, I wouldn't recommend like the Paper Mate gel pens because I don't, um, I've tried them with the Create 365 Happy Planner, me and my big idea pen case, and they do not fit very well, so I don't think they would fit very well in these either. Um, but again, pen craze, uh, case craze, and I went crazy with them. So, yeah. Alright, um, and then my next pen case that I absolutely love having as again, as I mentioned before, is the Create 365 Happy Planner pen case. I absolutely love these things. I mean, you can get so much in here. Um, you know, this one just happens to be my planner one. So it's got, like, all my stickers and, and stuff. Um, this one has, you know, like I said, it's a little different from the recollections, but, you know, you have, like, your little pen holders here. Um, and it only has a two side here and then the deep, uh, Back side of it where like I said, these are the pens. I wouldn't recommend trying to put in here as they're a little chunky um, But other than that it's got like a little slip pouch Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway like the front here of this one has same thing in the back um, But um, 
Yeah. I personally, like I said, this one's for planners and stuff, and I keep the little beaded chain thing that's on here, and then I just slip some little charms on it. Um, then my other one that I have, which is, that one was the, I, it's not mint, so it's blue. I have the salmon colored one, and this one holds all my Tombow markers. I still have a couple more sets and stuff to get uh, of the Tombow markers for a complete set. But again, this one will hold the Tombow markers and everything, and then I have them in the back here. Um, I recently purchased the Artist Loft uh, 48 pack of uh, watercolor dual tip markers. So, in a sense, they are just like um, Tombow markers where they're dual pens. They got the brush, and then they got the bullet point at the other end. These ones, however, are not numbered. So you've got one set on this side, and then you've got another set on here, and stuff. But these ones are not numbered. Uh, I have pen tested them in my McCullery's planner, and they do not bleed through. So that is uh, makes these worth the price. Um, they are uh, beautiful in color, and if you'll give me just a minute, I'm going to pause the video. Sorry about that. Um, so these are, I would say, a little bit lighter in color. I have not used all of them just yet. I have tried a few colors. I will show you the little test I kind of, well, they weren't exactly a test. I just went and did it. Um, I took an idea from Boho Berry for, like, when she does her, like, a little schedule and everything. So I just wanted to try it out on one of my pages. Um, I did it right here. And I will see if I can get as close. So I did use some of those watercolors. They do not bleed through. They show up beautifully on the page. Um, and I would not expect them to be bright as their watercolors. And the watercolors, to a certain point, tend to be, I would say, not as pigmented. So they're, they are, they're not as bright. But again, they do not bleed through the page. As you can see here, there is absolutely no bleed through or even ghosting. So that made me go great. They were worth the price because um, they do retail for... $69.99. Yeah, $69.99 at uh, Michael's. They were on sale for $52.99, but with a 50% off coupon, I paid about $25. Um, so I absolutely love that. And so for those, because I don't keep them in a the plastic case, I had to go and buy another Create 365 pen case because I just had to have these stashed in another pen case. And then the other thing I did. I know it's for if you got like a little baby and stuff, but this is a by Recollections, and I just could not pass it up, as it was just the cutest washi tape ever. Um, you've got like ugh, one cute, um, I can't make it out what it says on the top one here. You've got like little butterflies and uh, musical notes and clouds. You've got bow ties, hearts, uh, little baby one pieces and hearts. Uh, this one says sweet baby girl, flowers, then you've got like monkeys, hippos, zebras, and giraffes, elephants, and lions, footprints, um, this one just says love with cute little bow ties on it, uh, this one on the, here says my, uh, adorable girl, and then there's beautiful girl on here, then it says such a sweetie, and then there's dream big little one at the bottom. I thought that it was just absolutely cute washi tape, and I have a washi tape obsession, so I went and bought it. Um, but anyway, like I said, uh, I don't, I absolutely recommend if you ever buy these to keep these little chains on here, so if you want to put some, um, charms on it, you can totally do it. Um, again, I used another coupon on this, I used coupon on the washi tape, and I spent less than 60 bucks. I mean, it's to some people that's a lot, but when you're looking for high quality products, you kind of have to spend them a little more to get, you know, what you pay for. Um, so that is my, we'll end this video for pen cases galore. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, please do. And as always, if you're going to leave, leave a nice little comment below or suggestion, and I shall get back to y'all. Have a good day.